bloody, bloody shirt stainer. What it do, you two? What the business is? Just want to touch real quick on why I feel Orlando Anderson, Baby Lane, was set up to be at the casino to be seen by Death Row, the Mob Pyrus, and Tupac Shakur. Now, if you go to the video of Orlando Anderson when he is seen walking into the middle of the casino, he stops and he suddenly looks around as if he's looking for the person who's told him to meet him there. Now, I don't know about y'all, but him being him, him being the person that he was, and just in the situation that he got in, he was assured that death row was there. So he's not just going to be going there and just putting himself on the scene and to uh as as a as a far of a uh, position to where he's getting caught lacking, getting caught slipping, because he was getting caught, he was slipping, he was lacking, as y'all can see. That's why he got ran up on. But nobody in that stature is just going to be doing what he was doing in that video unless somebody told you to meet him there. Now, he possibly could have got told by the other side as far as somebody on the death row side, you know, to meet him there as a sort of resort to situation or they probably told him to meet him there and give him the info on how death row and them was finna beat up. But I doubt that would have happened because of how Baby Lane came by himself. Now, he was set up to be there so he can be seen by them, man. Ain't no if and buts about it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really too much think he had anything to do with Tupac getting killed, because just think about it, man. How did, in right after Pac, within the early 2000s, the probably around 98, everybody in death row started dying as a allegedly resort result to should, you know? So how did all these people get knocked off within death row, but Orlando Anderson didn't get touched by death row? How did Orlando Anderson kill Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight Offer this man, what was it, twenty to sixty thousand dollars for him not to go to court and put Suge Knight there at the scene because Suge Knight violated his probation, you know, and Suge Knight ended up having to do time for that. And how could any man who have killed my artist, you know, killed my little brother, as Suge Knight say, and I get a chance to be face to face with this man to pay this man or even talk with this man before paying this man. So that's two times I'd have been face to face with the man who done killed my little brother. How could he have killed my little brother? And I just pay. I've talked to him the first time. And then the second time I told him we're going to meet again and I'm going to pay him 20 to 60,000. So he don't go to court. How did Orlando Anderson, a.k.a. Baby Lane, kill Tupac, man? It just don't make no sense, man. That man didn't kill Pac, man. Just think about it, bro. Why would Suge Knight meet up with the man unless Suge had something to do with it? But why would Suge get put in the car and get himself hit in the head or get himself grazed in the head, you know, and as a result of uh, them thinking, him thinking that uh, Southside Compton Crip was uh, 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 just cold enough to even not miss Suge and hit Pac. Why? I mean, it's just a crazy situation, homie, but I felt... Baby Lane was set up to be there to be seen by them. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really feel Baby Lane killed Pac. I mean, it just ain't, it just ain't adding up, homie.